What up, y'all? Pat with the Beard Channel. I hope y'all can hear the vocals and everything. Um, just want to give a shout out video to my boy Steph. Y'all might notice uh, Steph's uh, comments down below in the comment section. Um, essentially, what we're talking about. Steph asked a question about uh, about conditioning and being afraid to condition too much. Um, I think that um, conditioning is always a good thing. I don't think you can ever condition too much. I think that you should, however, if you're buying a pre-bought conditioner, be prepared to be educated in the ingredients. If you're not educated about the ingredients, and I mean like literally typing in each little item one by one in Google or Wikipedia and researching what it does, don't use it. You know, because I'm not going to... um. You know, I understand a lot of people on the channels break down this ingredient, break down that ingredient, and tell you what it is, and tell you that, you know, this is uh, ethanol, or this is glycol, and, you know, at the end of the day, this just dries your beard out. It's a cleaning agent that strips all the oils. Um, you know, I just think that those types of things, they help you with your beard patience. So, you know, <clears throat> while every other channel does break those down I'm not gonna break those things down for you you know what I mean um and the only reason I say that is because you know I could but I mean I just I really want you guys to get what there is to get out of a beard I'm not gonna hand it to you you know and the world's not gonna hand it to you you know because there's tons of products to be sold and a lot of people want to sell their products because they're really great products but if there's things in them that aren't good for you you know that comes with reading and research and you got to do those things um so personally for me if you're buying product over the counter or the shelf, you know, it's cool to make sure it's a product that you don't mind conditioning your beard with every day. Some some, some products have, you know, agents in them to dry your beard out with chemicals and stuff. But there's a plethora of items that you can condition your beard with that don't necessarily say conditioner on them. You know, conditioning is just essentially adding moisture and rinsing it out. Whereas a lot of conditioners do have a cleaning agent along with a moisturizing agent in it. So it's good to know that, but you know, if it's got that cleaning agent, you probably don't want to be using it every day. But I just want to share you guys some real information and let you guys know that I did reflect upon your questions and things over the weekend. And uh, I love y'all, man. Take care. All the best. Peace. I'm actually using a new conditioner. I actually got out of Walmart in the south side. It's called... Yvonne Essentials Cherry Hydration. It actually smells like fruit snacks. I love it. It's a co-wash um, with argan oil, keratin, hope oil, biotin. Ultra conditioning daily re uh, wash removes impurities without stripping hair. Sulfate free, paraben free, no mineral oil, no petroleum. It's color safe and designed for all hair textures. Um, it does have some 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 uh, ingredients in it. Uh, Deionized water, propylene glycol, cetyl alcohol. So you don't want to put too much of it in it because alcohol, everybody knows you put alcohol in your body, it kind of dries you out. Um, so it says put a palm size in your hand, massage throughout hair for conditioning, wash, wash, rinse and repeat if necessary for best results, air dry hair. So I probably wouldn't use that product every day, but I do love, love that product. I like it a lot. It feels good, smells good. Um, but yeah, maybe try making your own conditioner, you know, and rinse it out. They also have leave-in conditioners too, so I hope that's plenty of information. Love y'all. Peace.